Hi guys, this is Abby. She is a senior Scottish Terrier, wheat and color, and she is a special needs groom. She has cancer. Her entire throat area is just full of tumors. They're huge and she's very, very sensitive about being touched anywhere around her head. She's only been a customer now for, I think this is her third groom with me. I took her on as a special needs senior and, um, you know, these dogs need caring for, you know, more now than ever. Yeah. So let's get busy. With comfort grooms, we do what the dog can handle. And if we feel like the dog is getting stressed, then we stop. That's something I have to be very mindful of. So for her trimming, I'm going to use a four blade on a Sharon Bow digital clipper, and I'm going to prep her before the bath. I know you're looking for cookies. Yes, I know. Here. This is not a step-by-step -step video. This is just simply letting you watch me do a special needs groom. So, she doesn't want her head held at all. So I'm just gonna come from the side. Try to flatten out her cheeks a little bit with my tin blade. Good girl. With the seven blade, I'm going to trim the top of her head. Good girl. That's it. That's it, baby. Coming up the lower part of her ear with the 7F, being very careful. This is a Schoenbau Digital 7F. It's configured differently than your typical snap-on style 7F blades. So I feel much safer using it for these applications. I'm going to wash her before I trim her under the tail because she's very sticky back there. Using a five blade, I'm going to come down the sides of the neck. Gently going over her tumors. Come here, Mama. Other hand. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Thank you. Thank you. Flatten out her back a little bit here. It's okay. I got you. I know you're looking for foods. You're looking for foods, ain't you? Yeah. She loves food. And I need to do her neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cookie. I'm going to hold it in my hand like this and I'm going to let her nibble as I come over her here, just to distract her and not hang on to her.
Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Okay. <clears throat> Good girl. I'm sure these things hurt. But nevertheless, you still got to be groomed, right? Oh, it's a good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. So she wants to go after the clipper, but she really likes this treat. Hmm. Want to get her head up. There we go. That's a good old lady. She was very good. She was very good old lady. Yeah. Go ahead and put her in the tub. Come on, Mama Sita. Yes, I know. We're going to the tub, old lady. Yes, we are. Have you seen the groomer's harness on her? Help keep her stable in the tub. Hooking it up to the groomer's harness tether that's attached to my tub platform. This helps me to remain hands off while she is moving around. She needs a really good shampoo. I am using iGroom Prebiotic. The last two times I washed her, I was really worried about her in the tub. It's one thing when you're working on special needs seniors like this, they're at an age where anything could happen. It could happen at the grooming salon, it could happen at home. You just never know where it's gonna happen. So it is scary. And that's why a lot of groomers won't take on senior dogs, especially special needs seniors, because, you know, it's very high risk grooming. In my salon, I do not use high velocity dryers. And you know, with senior dogs, that's definitely a plus because I don't have to worry about dryer seizures. The blow dryer that I use, there is no risk at all of a dryer seizure. If you don't know what dryer seizures are, I will put a link in the comments below the video where you can check that out. Those typically happen while using high velocity dryers 
and mostly on senior dogs. Going to condition her with eye grown prebiotic conditioner. Wrap her all up in a nice warm towel and head to the drying table. The dryer that I'll be using on her is a Schoenbau wall mount dryer. I'll also be using an Artero long pin slicker, an Artero universal slicker, and a Diane comb to blow dry her. For the nail trimming, I will be using Artero nail clippers and a NACA art nail grinding tool. There's many benefits to using the groomer's harness when you're working on a senior dog. You're staying completely off the throat and trachea. The dog can lay down comfortably while being safely secured on the table. You can use the harness to hold the dog without affecting the throat at all. Um, there's just so many benefits. When it's up tight, it keeps a wobbly dog from falling over. Um, it's just a fantastic tool to have when you're working on seniors or puppies. So I'm going to use a 40 blade and clipper her pads. Nice and short. This will give her more sure footing. Girl. On her back end, we're going to clean her out really good. I'm using a 7F blade on a Schoenbau digital clipper. The 7F on this clipper is very safe for this application. Regular snap-on style 7Fs would not be as safe. up around her anus, a little bit up on her tail, about a third of the way. Come down her top line from just behind the dip that they have behind their shoulder blades, down to about an inch in front of the tail. And I'll lightly skim off the sides, coming down into the big thigh a little bit. Girl. Coming down the sides of the tail, just following her around as she waddles. Waddle, waddle, waddle.
You notice I, I let them just wander around as much as I can. I'm not trying to hold her still. And when I do, I typically have a thumb loop through the harness to hang on to her instead of hanging on to the dog itself. This is very helpful with seniors and puppies. Shoulder, I'm gonna unhook one side of the harness. Pull it upwards and get in through the shoulder here with the five. Skimming down over her little tumors here. Sorry, I can't keep her in good camera view all the time because I'm giving her more movement than normal. Turn her this way, do the other side. So some people might say with a senior, why are you doing a breed type haircut on her. Why not just shave her down? Wouldn't that be easier? The answer is absolutely not. It would be much more difficult on the dog to do a shave down because you would have to hang on to the dog tighter. I switched to a four blade by the way. You would have to hold those legs while you are shaving down them you would have to hold the head while you're shaving off the head. It's much, much more stressful on the dog to shave it down. That's why I don't like to shave down puppies. I don't like to shave down difficult dogs. And I don't like to shave down seniors. I don't like to shave down anything, to be honest. And letting her have her beauty and dignity all the way through her life in my opinion as long as the pet owner is taking care of the dog and keeping the dog brushed and doing all the things they need to do there is absolutely no reason to shave the dog <clears throat> You might say, well, couldn't the dog go longer between haircuts? If you cut it shorter? And my answer is why? The dog still needs to be groomed. It still needs to be bathed. It still needs to be cared for. And I say do it more often, not less often when they hit this stage. All right, we are going to try to do the head without holding on to the face at all. So she's got this big tumor here. Just gonna skim over it, not worried about getting her perfect. Just wanna clean her up. I'm going to take my clipper on edge, carve out around the eyebrows a little. Probably gonna switch to a five blade for that. I've got a seven on here right now. won't let me hold the front of her face and I want to get up underneath so I'm just going to distract her with a cookie again. Ho 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 ho. Cookie cookie cookie. Get the head up with the cookie maybe. This way. Hey. Up here. There we go. Do it while she's chewing. There we go. Those books are too wide
Switching to a 15 blade for the insides of the ears. If you'd like to see how I leave the tufts on Scotty's ears, you can check out my video. I will put it up here that shows how to do the tufts. I also have a Scotty playlist that you can watch for more clipper trims on Scotty's. Alright, we're switching to a five blade to carve out around the eyebrows. Don't you love how I can control her better with this and not have to put anything on her throat, especially with those tumors up there? Makes her so much more comfortable, makes her feel safe. So awesome. Now we're going to scissor around the feet. I'm to brush everything down off the bottom of the foot and study her with my arm so she doesn't fall over into the scissors. See how I have my arm up under her and my elbow bracing her. Now we're going to take my arm up under the dog for bracing. Hold this foot up. Keep her from climbing over my arm. That's a good girl. I'm not trying to get it perfect, just trying to get the hair off. I've got my arm up under the dog again, grabbing her from the opposite side so that I've got her completely stabilized. Good girl. Now we're going to go around the tail. She's got a little bit of balding on her tail. I'm just going to ignore that and try to create as much of a carrot shape as I can. Leaving this little fill on top of the tail where I stopped about an inch short with the blade before I got to the tail. That leaves me this little fill so that we don't have a dip right in front of the tail. Makes the tail appear set on high. So she's got a pretty tail. Oh yeah. Now she's got a lot of hair right now. I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. It's a little too much. This done as quick as I can. Get in, get out. I am not going to card out her undercoat because she would get agitated and she may have some warts under there. I just don't want to risk it. Trim this neckline a little bit. Now I'm going to edge out her ears.
for the tufts. I'm going to fold the ears in half and scissor off the edges of them. I'm going to distract her with a cookie while I do her eyebrows. Hurry up and get it done while she's chewing. Spritz a cologne on her, make her smell pretty. That's I Groom Fabulous Cologne. I smell pretty. Mm -hmm. Blend in the sides here. Good girl. All right, you're pretty, and she is going home. See, see you next time. Bye.